What's up, Warriors? Are you guys doing? Today, we're going to talk about relationships. You know, a lot of people are struggling with their relationship. You know, they're breaking up. They're, you know, pissing each other off and they part ways, you know. And uh, the problem here is that, you know, people that want to get their, uh, you know, significant other back, you know, which is men, you know, what they do is they go do the exact same thing that got them into that fucking problem, the same situation that they were fighting for because, uh, that's what happens, you know? The you know, the, the old ladies are tired of you drinking, coming home, doing nothing. They wanna go do this, they wanna go do that, and all you wanna do is come home, relax, crack a beer open, and uh, you're off to the races, and you don't have energy to do nothing. So that becomes a habit. That habit, you know, becomes pretty much uh, something that, that en ends up, uh, you know, getting in their, in their nerves, you know? They start getting tired of that shit, so, they take action, you know, either you're gonna hear it all the time, you know, you're gonna fucking uh, be arguing all the time or you're gonna be just uh, in conflict, you know, with uh, your significant other over the, you know, your choices that you choose. And uh, the thing about it here is that, you know, when that shit happens, when it finally fucking, you know, you know, they, they had it and they, you know, fuck, move on. They try to fucking just, uh, you know, part ways, you know, Fuck, it crushes you. It crushes a lot of people. I don't care how tough you are. You know, a lot of times, you know, you don't know what you have till you lose it. And the grass ain't greener on the other side. So uh, it's, it's going to be the same thing. You know, you have to, uh, you know, better yourself. You know, they don't want a shot out person. They don't want somebody that's just fucking out of control with just negative fucking uh, negative all the time. Being all fucking uh, resentful. Being all fucking just... Uh, full of fucking excuses and, and tired. So what happens right after the breakup, you go do exactly what fucking got you there in the first place. You know, people, they start fucking you know, drinking more. They start picking up the fucking bad habits, you know, other vices that that's just gonna lead you to fucking self-destruction. So let's put it into perspective. Say she didn't want nothing to do with you no more. Okay, so who loses there? You're the one that's gonna lose. You're the one that's going to go over there and dig yourself deeper in the fucking hole where, you know, fuck, you're not going to get out of that fucking hole because uh, sometimes it's too late, you know? Sometimes you're going to create a lot of fucking problems, which, you know, you got yourself there. So you got to fucking realize if you want your significant other back, then you have to do the opposite. You know, you have to change. You have to do all the shit that, you know, you know, sit down, reflect on what you did start fucking uh, ironing shit out, you know, start bettering yourself, start being more productive, more uh, active, more fucking uh, on point. You know, that's what they want. They want a fucking sharp individual. They want a warrior. They want somebody that's gonna be a provider, that's gonna take care of the family. You know, they don't want no deadbeat. They don't want no fucking uh, liability. So that's the fucking problem here. So you gotta fucking flip that shit. If you want your significant other back, then you gotta fucking work on yourself because what? What if she doesn't come back? Then it's it's a win-win anyways, because if she don't come back, then fuck, at least you didn't destroy yourself because she just didn't, did it, she didn't want you back. She didn't want to give you another chance, you know, and you just move on, you know, it's dead in the water. And, uh, you know, there ain't nothing you could do, you know, but just, you know, love that person, be there for them. But, you know, once it's, you know, once it's done, it's done. So, but now at least you didn't uh, go over there and start fucking, uh, you know, fucking yourself, your life, uh, and throwing your life away because of a breakup, because of your heart broken. That's the worst thing you could do is just fucking go and uh, destroy your life in that manner where you just, you know, go hard on the fucking drink, go hard on the fucking drugs, you know, because, hey, you know what? You know, love is pain, you know, and, and, and it's a motherfucker, but a lot of times we get ourselves there. So once you realize that, you know, it's not gonna benefit you at all, you know, whether she comes back or she doesn't, you know, you're still going to fucking, uh, it's going to be up to you to level the fuck up and better yourself or dig yourself deeper in a fucking hole that you ain't going to get out of later. It might be too late for a lot of people. So you got to check that and make sure that you get uh, an understanding of, uh, you know, choosing uh, better choices, you know, for you to cope with that, uh, with that breakup with, um, you know, your relationship that didn't work out, you know, don't go and fucking trash your life away, you know, do the opposite shit, better yourself, learn from your mistakes, you know, that's all I gotta say, you know, and hopefully that shit helps, man, but I see a lot of people, 
you know, go down that fucking path of uh, self-destruction. And it's because, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, they, they got themselves there and, you know, that's not going to help at all because especially if you guys have hit, uh, kids in the mix. So we got to check that and uh, don't just fucking make it about you. Make it about the loved ones that are still around and that still take care, uh, that, that they still uh, care about you. Let's fucking run it.